I'm Shane Lewis. Yeah, and I'm Price James. You know, welcome to uh, Exigence. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, our upcoming film. So, you know, tell me a little bit more about Exigence, you know. Okay, so we play former CIA contractors yep. who are disgruntled with how the CIA is operating itself, and we decide to go independent. Unfortunately, I bite off more than I can chew, and I've got to enlist <laughs> my friend to come over and rescue me. And this guy. And help me get the situation resolved so that we can go on with our happy lives. Yeah, just call me the fixer. You know, I, I, I'll fix it for you. Anything you need, I'll fix it for you. <laughs> yeah, very, yeah, that's very Wait, true. Wait, you might not like have, how we fix it. But right, you know, if you haven't really noticed, know. we have a good rapport with each other, right. and we always, even though the movie has a lot of serious parts to it, and there's a lot of uh, difficult things that we're, we're dealing with and right. trying to get our lives together and reestablish who we are in the world, uh, we always felt that there would be this kind of Butch Cassidy and Sundance yes, kind most of rapport definitely. between it. Yeah. So we wanted to keep that light, and in that part of it, that dynamic part of the movie, we wanted to keep it flowing. Yeah, flowing. But then make it sure that it's relatable and that it also resonates, you know, with the audience, you know. Also, it resonates with us because I feel like when the material resonates with the actor, you know, we can really give that to the audience. And this really allows us to really give that back to the audience because I have enjoyed every aspect of it, you know, even though it's, it's been a long process. Very long process. It's been a great process. It has been great. Yeah, and then the new one because, um, when this all started, um, Steven had said to me, and I'm sure he said it to you as well, um, he wanted to do this film and he wanted to use the iPhone. You know, because right. it's the big thing, people right. are coming out and all these different things that you can do with the iPhone. And so he was like, yeah, I want to shoot this with the iPhone. So I got it, went out, got a new iPhone 6S Plus, you know, plug in there. Got the MacBook Pro Ooh, with all the other stuck. materials on there, right? Stuck. Got all the accessories for the phone because we wanted to make sure that we kept the integrity of the film. We didn't want to just say, oh, we're using this and use other add-ins to it, but we wanted to make sure that everything with the iPhone and Apple products that we were using to film this film to keep the integrity of the vision that Steven had and what we utilized for this. So that was awesome. And also very challenging, I mean, to do a whole film with an iPhone. Correct. Not only that, the other challenging parts were too is that the director is 3,000 miles away in so Ireland. So far. And we are in three different states. Like so far, I mean, he could have flew in at least once. Once. <laughs> in the what? We don't, been, it's we been don't like rate a year yet. and a half. A year and a half. We don't oh, rate gosh. yet. We don't Not rate yet. yet. You heard that. We don't rate <laughs> We don't yet. rate yet. But we're close. We're, we're, we're inching up there. You know, we're getting there and he's getting us there. But that was the awesome thing. And the pe look at the people we also got to work with. Outside of working with Shane, I'll tell you when Steven paired us together, um, it was kind of like one of those bosom buddy matches. <laughs> uh -oh. Made him and like, you know, it just kind of like worked. I didn't feel that we had to work on connecting. I felt that what he had already established for us as far as our, not just our brand, but just who we are as people, we connected. Yes. And having that connection really allowed us to really explore, do different things, you know, with this film, travel. We traveled all the way up to Connecticut. I mean, cold as, oh. I felt like I was back in Colorado. That's man. like how cold it was up there. It was cold. Oh man, especially when we were out on the water. On Dude, the water. Yeah. that uh, was, And the yeah. scene we shot in the, in the, in the, in the basement yeah. with the, you know, the, 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 the minor injury stuff yeah. that we were dealing with. Oh, right. it was and so see, cold And, and, and what you don't scene. realize, right, see, when you're independent and you don't have the budget, you know, you don't have trailers, you don't have uh, heaters, heaters or anything else like that. Or anything you're else. out there cold. You're just freezing. <laughs> freezing, huddled up. Huddled up. Do the shot, get up out of there. But I mean, it was great. Yeah, I learned a lot. I yeah. learned a lot from Steven as the director. I learned a lot from I learned a lot cast from members. You. Yeah, the cast members. I learned a lot from Price. One of the things I learned was like the, the, the coming in and out of the tension from the moments and then still keeping the levity of it. I thought it was really good and I enjoyed working with you and bouncing that, trying to bounce those dynamics off of you right. on set, like trying to not overstep each other and give the, the, the emotional content to flow. Right. Nice. And, that's, good. You know, and that can be very difficult, especially, you know, anyone who's worked with um, anyone on an independent film. And, <laughs> It's okay for everyone to have ideas, but it's kind of like we need to keep things managed, you know, and concise so that we can move very efficiently and also very effectively. And also keeping in mind that even though the director is not there with us physically, 
we gave him the same respect as if he was right in front of us and didn't just treat it like, oh, well, he's not here. We'll just do whatever. We made sure that we follow his guidelines, do what he's asked of us, um, and, just, and just kept the flow going and then had that respect for each other and be able to, like, not overstep or present things to him. And, you know, Stephen would let us know that'll work or that doesn't work. <laughs> but he really, he allowed for that. He did. And he nor did. did we take advantage to be like, oh, well, I'm just going to change everything and just do everything that way. I'm going to AD for the day. You yes. Know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but let it me tell you out. what we're going to do today. Steven. Right. <laughs> but it was great. And then everyone else that we worked with um, in the cast that we had a chance. Um, Woody Meister that came in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and then my driver, Thomas Seth. I, mean, I love those scenes in, that, the, in, the, in the car. Those dude, scenes are going to be cool. No, right. I can't wait to see them. Y you talk about some challenges. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My cameraman, you know, from Young World Entertainment, who happens to be my son, my oldest one, you know, he was our main cameraman that went through it with us, ducking under seats, behind seats, on top of the car, pretty much <laughs> under the car. I mean, everything that was asked of him to do, like he did, and we just did it. You know, we made it work. Yeah, yeah. And Steven helped us to make it work, you know, and it was, I tell you, with him being at the helm, I mean, we just sailed through. And irregardless of how long it took, I'm glad it took that time because we were able to really map things out, scope things out, and really give it that finesse. Yeah, I was going to say, hone our craft and what we wanted, to hone the tension and, and, the, right. and the dynamics between the two of us. I like that a lot, yeah. Steven's been very hands-off but hands-on, and I, I kind of like that as well. Right. He ran a repertory company for 20 years in, yeah, for a long in time. L.A. and Hollywood in the old style of how the machine worked. Right. Um, and then now we're trying to incorporate those same principles into this modern media system and yep. make sure that this works functionally. And it is working. It is working and very we well. like it. we like it very lot. Yeah, we're like we're those guerrilla filmmakers. We're, yes, yes. We're, we're hitting we're, that. <laughs> we are definitely guerrilla we're filmmakers. We're definitely hitting that. But, you know, I, I truly enjoyed this project as well as the other projects. You know, I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, yeah. We are definitely going to work again in the future. I mean, we're going to be that Too new. Much fun. We're going to be that new duo. Yeah, I think we should. We're going to be that new <laughs> we want, We're, we're going to be the yin and the yang. We're That's gonna be, good. you know, like, it. like how they had the bad boys yeah, and all yeah, the old films. Yeah. You have that part in the duo, so yeah, be checking it out, watch out for us. And definitely watch out for our film, Exigence. Yep. Coming to you from Cine Paris. So, um, yeah, thank you for all your support, your love, thank you. Yeah, dude, thank you, man. You know, I for being a part of this. And thank you, our director, who's yeah. 3,000 miles away in yeah. Ireland. Thank you for your <laughs> travels coming down. Our travels going up, the train rides were great, cold as crap. Oh, they were cold. And the snowstorm we oh, drove. Oh, the snowstorm. Oh, here yeah. Did film that scene yes. in the snowstorm? Oh. But, oh, I mean, we had good times. Yeah, good Trust times. me, we had good times. We're not going to tell you about them, but we had some good times. <laughs>